coming up Chelsea midfielder Romeo Lavia has been ruled out for the season with a further injury. Premier League legend Darren Bent has advised Chelsea to hold on to Romelu Lukaku in the summer. We've also got some updates on Eden Hazard's next move following his retirement so keep watching. As usual give a like, subscribe turn notification on to support the channel. Dozens of veterans faced homelessness after their housing was sold to Chelsea FC for £80 million, but they have now secured new accommodation after a local Labour campaign. Shadow Defence Secretary John Healy joined veterans at the London Stoll Housing Complex to back their bid to save comrades from being left on the streets. He paid tribute to Ben Coleman, Labour parliamentary candidate for Chelsea and Fulham who campaigned hard to help those affected by the sale of homes to Chelsea FC. Under a new £80 million deal the Premiership Club is buying Stoll Mansions, home to over 100 veterans, 42 of whom faced being without homes as they were on short-hold leases. But local councillor and Labour parliamentary candidate Mr Coleman, along with veterans, persuaded Stoll to guarantee all vets will be given new homes. The Stoll complex has housed veterans for more than 100 years but only those there for more than 5 years have a short tenancy. Now after Labour stepped in, Stoll is securing a nearby site so all the residents will be housed. Gareth Southgate says Cole Palmer still has a good chance of making England's Euro 2024 squad and only missed out on minutes this week due to a minor injury. The Chelsea star, who has been Chelsea's standout player this season, was not included in the matchday squad against Brazil on Saturday but Southgate had hoped he would be available against Belgium. Although Palmer was on the bench on Tuesday evening, he did not get onto the pitch with Southgate instead choosing to bring on Anthony Gordon, Ollie Watkins and James Madison as the three Lions chased a late equaliser. Southgate has now revealed that Palmer was not able to train consistently in the build-up to the match, hence not playing, but he remains in contention to go to the Euros. A bit of a shame that Cole Palmer missed so much training that we weren't able to put him into the game against Belgium at the stage it was having missed most of the week. We weren't 100% certain what we would get whereas with Gordon, we knew, and Madison we knew. I wouldn't rule Cole out of that equation. Chelsea midfielder Romeo Lavia has been ruled out for the season with a further injury. Lavia, who arrived from Southampton in the summer on a big money deal, sustained a thigh injury in December. He had already spent half the season on the treatment table, but will now be back for pre-season. For the standard, the club have not given out more information about the nature of the setback. They have merely stated that the summer arrival from Southampton will not feature again this season. Christopher Nkunku, Rhys James, Levi Colwell, Wesley Fofana and Leslie Hugo Chukwu are also out at present. Still on Lavia, the Chelsea midfielder has vowed to bounce back next season after he was ruled out for the remainder of the campaign through injury. Lavia is understandably frustrated with how his first season at Chelsea has gone, but he has promised to keep working hard to return to full fitness and make an impact next season and beyond. Writing on Instagram, Lavia said, Hi Chelsea family, as you may know, and despite my countless efforts, I will be missing the remainder of the season. This has been a frustrating season for me, not being able to help my teammates. I love this squad, this badge and being on the pitch more than anything. Trust that I have given my all every day to get back. Thank you for the love, support and critics because they all affect me positively and keep me going. I can't wait to give it back and share many special moments together. See you soon. Lavia's only appearance for Chelsea came off the bench against Crystal Palace on December 27th, but he picked up an injury in the very same match and has not played again since. Now images of the potential Chelsea home shirt for the 2024-25 season have been leaked online in what is a first look at the possible design. Having waited until late on in the summer to release the current jersey, initial leaks show a dramatic shift. Still created by Nike, the blues are sporting a slick and minimalist top this year with little pattern or texture. The monochrome badge was the biggest element as well as large white patches under the arms intended to bring memories of shirts from the 1990s. However, the sportswear giants have tended to go bold with their selections in the past and look to have done the same here. In images posted on X, the Royal Blue Home shirt includes light, jagged stripes as well as watery lines across the arms and chest. There are also a series of oval shapes across the front plate. Several lighter blue, Almost sky blue wavy patches make their way across the top as well. The most notable addition is undoubtedly an orange stripe on the sleeve. As well as a cyan slick, the bright orange flash adds plenty of color in a standout addition. Chelsea fullback Malo Gusto has revealed that he has settled in well with Chelsea. 
The French right back arrived at Stamford Bridge from Lyon in the summer of 2023 and initially struggled for game time. However, Rhys James' injury woes has proven to be a boon for the 20-year-old, who has been a regular feature under Mauricio Pochettino of late. Gusto has appeared 29 times across competitions this campaign, setting up eight goals. Speaking to Eurosport, Gusto said that he is delighted to have joined the London Giants. There's a lot of French people, but even the club is great and has done everything so that I can really get on with things. Honestly, I'm really happy with my choice. We're a young team, we know it's taken a bit of time to gel, now we're working daily to create a united group. We know it's been a bit better over the past few games, so we're trying to keep that going, said Gusto. Former Chelsea winger Eden Hazard is making good use of his time after retiring from football last year. He was honoured by his former club Lille where he made an appearance recently and has agreed to return to Stamford Bridge to play in a charity game in the summer. It has now emerged that he has also agreed to be the president of a Belgian club Deptostra FC, a Belgian team playing in the Kings League, a seven-a-side football competition created by former Spain international Gerard Piquet. Hazard will participate in the Kings World Cup, due to be held in Mexico later this year, according to Belgian publication Wallfoot. Rio Ferdinand will also take part in the tournament, which already involves Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Neymar, among others. Hazard though will be the sole president of Deptostra as he looks to get busy after he retired from football last year. When he decided to quit, he said he'd been tempted by clubs from Saudi with money but he felt staying away was the best decision and that he'd made enough to look after his kids. He said, I don't spend too much money, so I have enough money to raise my kids. Now former Sunderland striker Darren Bent has advised Chelsea to bring back Romelu Lukaku. The striker started in Belgium's 2-2 draw with England at Wembley on Tuesday and provided a beautiful assist to Yuri Thielmans. Overall, it has been quite a good campaign for the 30-year-old, who has scored 18 goals in 37 appearances for Roma. That is more than what Chelsea's current first-choice striker Nicholas Jackson has managed, with the Senegal international netting 12 times in 32 outings, and now former Premier League striker Darren Bent has now shared whether he thinks Chelsea should hold on to Lukaku or sell him in the summer. It has been claimed that Todd Burley is hoping to shift the Belgian to a Saudi Arabian club. But for Bent, Chelsea retaining Lukaku's services is a no-brainer. Speaking about the centre-forward on TalkSport, Bent said, he's always going to score goals. If you can get him back on a free, for me, it's a no-brainer. But then he's not at my football club, it's free, you haven't got to buy him. For me, it's a no-brainer, but I get it. Chelsea fans are probably looking back to the interview he did and how disrespectful he was to the club, and some of them just can't let it go and I get that. I can see that side of the argument, but you're looking at buying a centre forward for 80 or 90 million and you've got one there on a free. If somehow they can fix that relationship and then save that 80 or 90 million on a position they might need, it's not the worst decision in the world. United States men's national football team captain Christian Pulisic has opened up on his time at AC Milan, explaining why he is in fine form after his Chelsea spell. Pulisic, who failed to cement a starting place at Chelsea due to a host of injuries, is currently relishing a stellar campaign at the Rossoneri. The 25-year-old has scored 12 goals and laid out 8 assists in 39 matches across competitions, including 35 starts, so far this season. During a recent chat with Fox Sports, Pulisic was queried to share his thoughts on his injury-free time at AC Milan in the ongoing 2023-24 season. He responded, I wouldn't say there's been a big change, or something that I've done. I've taken good care of my body for sure, but it's just been good to get that consistent game time at AC Milan. Your body just kind of gets accustomed to it, which has been really helpful. When you're constantly in and out of the lineup, it can be hard. Pulisic, who left Chelsea in a £17 million deal last summer continued. Your body isn't prepared for the constant wear, so then when you come in and give a high-intensity performance, it can definitely be a problem. But this season, I'm just feeling good and confident, and that's when I play my best. The lifestyle over here is definitely a shift from London. Everything feels a bit slowed down. Obviously a nicer weather, it's been a great change for me. Everything was moving kind of 100 miles an hour when I was in London, and the football culture was crazy. Here, I've been able to get away from the game too and enjoy the lifestyle, the culture, and the food. I'm liking it a lot.
to some transfer news Chelsea are considering a move for Atletico Paranaense goalkeeper Bento though face significant competition from a host of clubs, according to reports. Over the past two seasons, the shot stopper has established himself as Atletico's number one keeper and was handed his debut for Brazil this past week. With both Alisson and Edison injured, Bento started against England where he kept a clean sheet, and against Spain shipping three goals in the latter match. According to Brazil newspaper Globo Esport, there were a number of European clubs keeping a very close eye on Bento in both matches ahead of a potential summer move. Inter Milan and Benfica are both keen on the shot stopper, while Premier League trio Chelsea, Wolves and Nottingham Forest have also been scouting him. The Blues have alternated between Robert Sanchez and Jorge Petrovic this season, though goalkeeper is still a position Chelsea are keen to strengthen. They have already rejected an offer of £12.5 million from an unnamed club in January, with Benfica offering slightly less, but Atletico feel they can get significantly more now. The 24-year-old is particularly attractive to European and Italian clubs in particular because he has an Italian passport, making a transfer much easier. Chelsea midfielder Cesare Cassade is reportedly prepared to leave the club on a permanent basis in the summer, with three Serie A clubs interested in signing him. The young midfielder is considering an exit after failing to nail down a regular place at the club since arriving in 2022. He spent time at their academy before heading out on loan to Reading for the second half of the 2022-23 season. Chelsea sent Cesare Cassade on loan to Leicester City after the Foxes manager Enzo Maresca pushed for the young midfielder. He featured primarily off the bench for the side, making 25 appearances, scoring three goals and providing two assists. Cassade was recalled from his loan in January and has made just three appearances for the club since, featuring for 17 minutes in all. The Italy U21 midfielder is now prepared to leave Stamford Bridge in search of regular football, as per journalist Nicolo Shearer. Cassade remains very highly rated in his native Italy, with multiple Serie A clubs reportedly circling for his signature. At Chelsea, there are a number of players in front of him in the pecking order, and he may never get a chance to prove his worth at Stamford Bridge. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day.